David, welcome to Barnet Football Club. You've signed a one-month uh, rolling contract here at the Hive London. How does it feel to get the deal over the line? Um, no, it feels really good. It feels really good. Um, you know, I've been here, I've been here for a little bit now, a little while now. Um, it's okay now, it's easy, etc. So, um, yeah, now to get the, you know, to get something sorted um, so I can start playing, etc. Is um, now it's really good, and I'm really, yeah, really happy. Um, got something sorted. I mean, what actually attracted you to, to come to the club in the first place? Then um, the the gaffer had a big, um, a massive influence. Um, obviously, I've played under him under him twice before in my um, career. So you know, um, yeah, he um, gave me a call. Um, you know, told me the plans and, and, and how he started playing, how he wants to play, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And um, you know, and that, yeah, that was a massive, massive influence on me. You know, um, I look up to the I look up to the gaffer. So. Um, you know, if he said if he wanted me to come down, you know, it was a bit of a bit of a no-brainer. Um, and yeah, obviously, I had some of the players out here that um, that I know as well. So um, yeah, that had another another factor into it as well. You touched touch on it there. You played with uh, Mason Bloomfield at Crawley Town. Did he did he play a part in uh, in your signing here? Um, I, I, yeah, I spoke to him. I spoke to him actually before I came. So um, yeah, after after he signed, actually straight after. Um, so yeah, he told me. Yeah, he literally said the same thing to me. Really. So, um, so it's a good club, um, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, yeah, he, um, yeah, he had a bit of influence as well, and you know, obviously, I know some of the other lads as well, um, which I had a little conversation with them as well. So, yeah, no, all, um, yeah, all factors, yeah, came to, to place. So you're only 22, and uh, Kenya international football team called you up. That must be uh, quite a proud achievement. Um, but obviously, you went went on to play for, for Crawley Town instead. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, no, it was a massive, massive um, achievement for me. Obviously, uh, that's where my mum's from, so I've got loads of family out there that have been there several times. Um, so, being able to get a call up was really good. Um, I was really happy, but, um, you know, we wasn't in the best position league-wise. Um, you know, if we lost a couple of games, we could have got relegated um, at the time. And um, I just thought I just thought I needed, you know, to really help my club. I didn't want, you know, I didn't want us to go down. Um, you know, they, they gave me the opportunity to play in the, in, in the league, so... Um, you know, I thought, I thought I owed it to them to to help out when while they while we were struggling as a team. So um, yeah, so I decided to um, yeah stay and help out help out the squad. So I mean, during your first season with Crawley Town, you you were awarded the uh, Young Player of the Year award. I'm sh I'm sure you're obviously going to be looking to uh, to replicate something here. Yeah, you know, I'm still I'm still young, so um, yeah, maybe I can get an award again or if there's if there's awards here, um, you know. But um, yeah, no, it was, uh, that was a really that was an honour for me. Um, I came into the team around around Christmas time. Uh, pretty much stayed in the team, and you know, it was it was that was my first um, sniff of, of first team football. So um, you know, that was really good to to go on and win that award. Um, you know, hopefully, hopefully I can win some awards here as well. What's Harry said to you uh, upon your arrival here? Then obviously he worked in at Crawley, like you mentioned. Yeah, um, no, he, he just said, um, you know, he wants to to build a squad um, to, that's going to be fighting, you know, fighting for high up in the league and you know fighting for hopefully promotion really that's what that's what everyone wants um so yeah that he said he's um that's, that's gonna be what he's trying to aim for um you know i'm, I'm quite ambitious myself so I, I i'd love to aim for you know to get the club back into into the league you know if, if um it's 100 i think it's 100 percent possible with the, with the players we've got um so yeah that, that that was obviously the main thing and you know being ambitious myself that that kind of kind of drew me in so yeah You've attracted a lot of social, a lot of attention on social media for, from the supporters here. Uh, you must be buzzing to to, uh, to get out get out on the pitch and, and play in front of them. Yeah, you know, um, obviously there was a had a, quite a good support um, at Hackman Pitt Harrow, and um, some of them spoke to me um, after the game, and you know, only had positive things to say, and you know, that was it's really um, it's welcoming, it was, you know, it was really warming. So, um, you know, yeah, and I played. Luckily, I had a chance to play here as well against. Um, I think it was Peter Brown and Tottenham. So um, yeah, no, I love I love playing here already, and yeah, hopefully you know this, um, when the season um, start, obviously when I get to play my first game, etc., in the season and my first home game, you know, it's, it's going to be a great opportunity, and I can't, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Can't wait. And finally, can, can you tell the supporters uh, what sort of player you're like? Um, um, I would like to say I'm quite calm on the ball. Um, you know, I love to get forward and, and whip crosses in, and um, you know, I, li I like to help. I like to help the team with, with assists and, and stuff like that. But first and foremost, uh, I have to I have to defend from the front and the right back. Um, you know, I can't I can't play both sides. But um, you know, even playing either side, I need to 
I need to block um, I need to block my crosses, I need to be at the back post, you know, defending, I need to block shots and you know, I need to um, mainly keep a clean sheet with the back four, so or the you know, back five or whatever, etc. So um, yeah, my main job is is to defend, but um, yeah, I do have I do love that side of getting forward and helping our team up after the pitch.